Title, Global Ganup. Iran in the hot seat over tragic passenger plane drama. TL, DR, buckle up, folks. Canada, Sweden, Ukraine, and Britain are dragging Iran to the International Court of Justice, ICJ. Why? Over the takedown of a Ukrainian passenger plane in 2020, a catastrophe that tragically extinguished all 176 lives on board. Iran said it was a mistake but these countries are saying not so fast, buddy. The drama unfolded on January 8, 2020, when Iran's Revolutionary Guards shot down the Ukraine International Airlines flight shortly after it sashayed off Tehran airport. Apparently, they mistook it for an incoming cruise missile during a time of high tension with the US. But if it was a mistake, why are four countries itching for a legal rumble with Iran? And why now? Is there more to this calamity than meets the eye? According to some suits and ties, the big guns have been drawn because of Iran's resistance to engage constructively. That's legal speak for not playing nice. But, aren't they also at fault here? Didn't the revolutionary guards hold their hands up? It's all a bit complicated, isn't it? The UK, Sweden, Ukraine, and Canada are pushing for compensation for the victims' families, an apology from Iran, and assurances this won't happen again. Sounds reasonable, right? But, Iran is remaining quieter than a library on a Sunday about it. As it stands, the ICJ is the umpire in this game, and they haven't decided if they're stepping into the ring just yet. And while it's no WWE Smackdown, the world's watching this legal wrestling match with bated breath. What we have here is a classic tale of power, justice, and one big, tragic oopsie. But what's the lesson? And will the families of the 176 souls lost ever find closure? Can anyone ever say my bad enough for something this huge? As we ride this roller coaster of international legal drama, remember, we're just here for the ride, no legal advice or recommendations from us. We're just watching, like you, and asking the questions everyone's thinking. At the heart of it, do you think Iran should face the ICJ for the downing of the passenger plane? And if Iran is held responsible, will it bring any solace to the grieving families? Should mistakes of this magnitude be allowed to pass, or is it high time for accountability? What's your take on it, Internet?